What's up guys, welcome to Game Take with me Uncle. Today we're going to show you how to set up your config file to get better viewing if you've got triple screens. So this only applies for people with triple screens and I wouldn't suggest anyone do this on a single monitor because I don't know what the outcome would be. Anyway, so what you want to do first is you want to open up your config file. Okay, so we go into our file explorer to documents. We do it on Euro Truck. You come down to your config, which is a CFG file. Click and open that. Now mine will open automatically on Notepad. Sometimes you might need to click it, right click it, and it will say open with. Scroll down through the more apps and you'll find Notepad. Okay, so you come down. Now I've already got my multi more mode set to two. Yours will be set to zero. Yeah. Now my monitors are at 45 degree angle. They're 32 inch monitors. And because they're quite close to my face, I have to have quite a high um, field of view to make the steering wheel a bit smaller because otherwise it's huge. And basically, so you want to set that, I would imagine roughly on most monitors would be about 70 or, or somewhere around about that. So it's multi mode mode to number two, field of view to 76. And then you need to change your multi mode borders now I know what mine should be for the right 1.3 and for the left 0.9 you also need to come in and change this which is called your USG interior camera zero pitch right and what this does is the angle that your camera is facing at um, normally in Euro truck it's facing kind of down at your dashboard a little bit now this will change it, change to one, and that should make us look dead straight across. Now most of this, what I'm telling you here now, just takes out that bendy look out of your right and left monitors. And this set camera zero pitch will do your straight ahead view. Okay, so once you've done that, you can also make sure that your Multimon interior in main is set to one. Yeah, it probably should be if you've set your triples up already anyway. I've just watched a video where a guy said that you can adjust these. Yeah, now he had very nice looking interiors. So I'm going to go with the same that set that he's got, which he was 0.1. On the right side, he was 0.3. Now once you've done that, you want to come up, hit the file button, come down and save it. Now, I would suggest also that these things that you're going to change, you know, the, the, hopefully these will work for mine. You'll see in a minute if they do. Write down the uh, settings that you were on, just so you know. Even better still, copy the whole of that folder, right click it, copy it, paste it onto a new notepad page. Keep that so you can just put that back in. So let's go over now. We've saved that. Let's go over now to Eurotruck. That is definitely much more straight ahead. I'm going to drop down a little bit so I can use that mirror. That now is the view out straight out the front where I've lowered the seat. And uh, it seems not to have quite the bend in it that it did before. So we'll check it out once I've driven it. Okay, so let's go and have a look and see what this is uh, like when we come near the road. you can see it looks a little bit it's kind of straighter now it's not not so bent out we'll have a look and see now whether whether the road looks to me it, lo it looks better uh, it's a bit hard to tell because it's it's gone into sort of evening time looking at my actual screens it's hard to show it to you guys because I can't show you the actual triple view it doesn't look so bent out when you come around. Ignore the graphics for a minute because I still haven't done any adjustments on those. The par 
passing traffic is what we're looking at. Yeah, no, that definitely looks much better. So, give it a try, guys. And uh, let me know in the comments whether you think this has worked for you. Catch ya in another one. Bye for now.